And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Starlit Fate. This is one of my favorite decks to play just because like our regions, I really like Freljord, I really like Bilgewater and we're putting them together. Twisted Fate is just awesome. This card is incredible. Um, but then I also really like Starlet Seer and Omenhawk and Elixir of Iron and Brittle Steel. Really like those kind of cards. So we're putting, you know, uh, going with the same list that we have been playing. I know our list looks a little weird because we started playing this deck like 12 days ago. And, um, you know, like we only have two Pilfered Goods. Like that, that seems kind of off. Like it seems like we really should have three Pilfered Goods and we should probably have Black Market Merchant. But, um, and maybe not Salvage. But. But we've always done well with this list, so I want to keep it the same. We've we've played it three times. We've gone 4-1 each time. Let's just kind of keep it the same and, and see how it goes. It's just a bunch of cheap cards that are pretty efficient. As you can see, over half of the deck costs either 1 or 2 mana. Um, you know, 23 of them. So 23 and 17. Almost, almost 60% of the deck is either 1 or 2 mana. And it allows us to get ahead. and allows us to double spell quite a bit. Um, in the mid game, uh, even triple spell and everything like that. Um, just a really efficient deck. We still have a good top end because we have like the Jaw Hunters that make some some sea monsters. So then, so then we got some extra sea monsters up here at the top end as well. Pretty fun deck to play. So let's let's do it. All right, so we're got our twelve hour stream today. We're gonna be playing lots of decks. You can see our schedule over on the left hand side. Basically my 12 hour stream means that I play 10 decks and however long that takes. Uh, thank you numbers. Get a little break from work to be able to watch the stream. Awesome, thank you. Welcome, welcome. Uh, do I have a favorite deck? Um, <clears throat> not exactly right now. This would be right up there. Like I was saying, like with Freljord, Bilgewater. Um, kind of like what we got going on here. Do I want to keep both Jaw Hunters? I kind of do. Sure. Against, you know, a, a creature deck where we can use these as removal. These are probably my two favorite, favorite regions right now, Freljord and Bilgewater. All right, I'll try, Hyder, I'll try. Ooh, not a bad draw. Play another tracker. Go ahead, do it. No, not the warships. All right, trade one for one. But you know, before they turn this into a three, two and then uh, kill my Omen Hawk. So I want to use the Jaw Hunters on the War Chefs. Like, if I do that, then I get one point of damage in, then they play a three drop afterwards. Maybe we'll just... Like, they didn't want me to challenge the three drop, that's why they passed. They're kind of the reason why I don't want to do that is because we have these two Elixir of Irons, right? Like, I want to be able to Elixir of Iron to protect Jaw Hunters. Push back the darkness. I, I'm, ba I'm basically not as convinced that Freljord is really unpopular as maybe some other people, like, you know, than, than what you read, I don't, or just it's not as good. Um, I've, 
yeah, I've had a lot of success with, with Freljord decks just in general. And no, I think it's it's just fine against Burn. I think it ha like having one mana tricks against a deck with such cheap cards as Burn is really important. Head to the face. Honor guide me. Eat up, friend. Reel him in. So I thought I may, might need two of those one mana tricks available, which is why I didn't play the other Jaw Hunters, even though I wanted to. Okay, there we go. Not a bad draw. Just gold card. That was the card I was scared of. That's definitely the card I was scared of. That's the, them having turn five, uh, the Garen. I need like a seven mana thing, not an eight mana thing. All right, let's get started. Let's see her in play. I know it would have been better to play my brittle steel right away, but I was kind of seeing if they did something else. If they didn't. I can also just wait till next turn to cast that. Yeah, just basically just wasting their both attacks with like the Grizzled Ranger, but I, I don't know. That doesn't mean that I don't get to attack here, because if I if I attack here, they block with that thing and then get a lot better of an attack in. Oh, 
Oh, cool, Soul. You, yeah, you've been playing this deck. Also. You chose poorly. Nice. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I guess that's how we're blocking. Um Again, yeah. Freljord doesn't have necessarily have tons of, of card draw for Twisted Fate, but I think it has enough. Don't th think you necessarily need to have a ton for it. So Tear of the Tides basically just chain trades with Scythria. Right, because they can't block it with anything else. Okay, so they could block it with Garen. Oh, it doesn't even trade though, right. Those things have too little power. I guess I could have attacked with Tiana also, because they could only block with those two cards with Tiana. So we're at six out of eight. If I draw a card with Yordle Grifter. Yeah, what he said. I'm not greedy. My friends though. That's seven. So then we untap draw and that's eight. Bunch of badgers that, because of the Scythria, are now difficult to block. Uh, can I go to one? If I don't block with Twisted Fate, we go to one. So let's see. We we um. Doesn't doesn't really matter too much, I don't think. But basically, we block these two, and then we throw this in front. We throw that in front. We we'll put this over here. We go to one. I could chump block with this and go to three. It's like repost kills me either way, but this saves me from other things. I think I'll block this way and go to one. Obviously, they're, you know, if they play, like, Radiant Strike and kill me, I'll be sad. That's their one last card. Alright, well, that makes things worse. Yep. They had all three Garens. already their second gear into play and I guess they have the third one in hand also. Hi Dar! Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. I thought we were going to be winning this game until that judgment. No, probably not. Thanks Hi Dar! Brand new Twitch Prime sub. We've had three new Twitch Prime subs today already. Y'all are awesome. All right, more spells. Soak it in. Okay. So let's see, four, five, six. Oh, right, they have, right, I forgot they get to attack because of the Garens, this game's over. 
Right. Well, I was over doing other things. We were going to be able to take out that Garen. Like, we were going to actually have a really good turn. But, oh well. <laughs> Thanks, Idar. That was a good game, though. It's a good game. Twisted Fizz. We're going to play some Twisted Fizz later on. They have PNZ in their deck, though. I don't have PNZ in my deck. Man, it's it's just too hard to mulligan these cards. Even though even though we're not doing anything for a while. No, they're playing Lucian. They're Lucian and Garen. They had Lucian Senna with Noxus. They're a little more aggressive. Yeah, every every Twisted Fate deck will steal your stuff, basically. <laughs> the steal your stuff stuff is so good that it's just a part of every Bilgewater deck. Steals. Yeah, I, I don't mind the, the steel card stuff either. I just wish that they sped it up. The animation is too slow. No, Yodel Grifter, you missed. There's missed also. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Mine's going to miss. Yours is going to miss too. Man, we have a lot of card draw on our hand. <laughs> you know the value of coin. One good turn, hey friendo. You made choices. Kinda wanna hearth guard. No, we shouldn't hearth guard. Yeah, the second card's always stuck in the deck, right? Like, the cards are, like, kind of stuck together. It's like... Many under one banner. Cool. Pump your things up for me. Thank you. See? Uh, it's stuck. All right, there we go. There it is. All right, four, eight, nine. Okay, good. So, making sure we don't have ten and, you know, like, our card will get burned. Make a rain. Mm 
we go rain. Keep up, keep up. Through the coral. You can't do this. That's cool. No, my elixir of iron? Come on. Rude. the best cards. Honestly, didn't really want either of those cards. Could have been better. So his fate's about to level up. We're at seven. So is this targeting now? Like, if I, if I change this to be a 4-4, will it switch over? I think it'll switch over. Gotta trust your instincts. But I don't know if I want to do that. See, can I take 4 damage? And go down to 7? That's what I'm not sure about, if I can just take this 4 damage or not. I guess... Yes, we do. These old eyes still see far and clear. We know one of their cards is a one mana spell that they grab from coral creatures. Of damage, this hurts. It's just how it is, I guess. I should probably actually block these the other way. That thing's that thing would die anyway from Twisted Fate. Yeah, from the red card. Yeah, so I should have just blocked those the other way. I would have got an extra point of damage on the hearth card. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Wait, I need to respond. I need to respond. Darn it. I don't actually draw that card now. Oh, that was a good card to have, too. That was a really good card to have. Good one mana spell. They had up four creatures. See the 
Don't really want these suit ups. So they're just at three out of eight. If we had more life, we would easily win this game. Like we're like we will easily win a long game. It's just, do they find two points of direct damage basically to kill me or not? Safety. Ugh, that's one point already. Yeah, I don't like the suit. Like, suit up's not in our deck, of course. That they're in their deck, but one pilfered goods turned into to two suit ups, and that's unfortunate. I wish they were drawing the suit ups. They're getting closer and closer to killing me. One little life. That's all I got. Said, so remember that one life. Taking all my stuff. They're taking my black market merchants and I'm taking their crappy suit ups. It's another really close game though. It looks like we're most likely gonna lose. But I'm just needing one one point of damage, and there's so many things that does that do one point of damage. Like this is a deck with plunder, you know, designed on plunder. So it looks like we're gonna lose this, but another really good game, like last game, that it just yeah, you know, like last game, their last card was that judgment. This game they just had a little bit too much. Like, you know, if, obviously, if, if we both have 10 more life, we would, would win going away. Yeah, like, they're just playing regular old... They're just playing Warning Shot. Like, they didn't even get that for free. Like, they just have that in their deck. Yeah. Uh, so, no, we don't get to, don't get to continue our 4-1 streak with the deck. Our pilfered goods let us down. Good hand, Fior Garen. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna play some Sejuani Swain later on. Yep, yep. All of the decks that we're playing, of course, are on the Mobile Addicts page. Um, the brand new ones are, are up first. There's other ones that aren't new that you know you kind of have to scroll down to find from whenever we played it before. But I'll be updating the decklist command, of course, each right, time, sword. like each new game. That's weird, Vaughn. I don't know, I don't have any answers for you, that's weird. So 
So I said playing Avaros and Sentry gives me a better block. But I'm gonna play the uh, Omen Hawk to get this pump going. So we're gonna have one thing that's gonna be pretty big, like whatever our, our next thing is. Huh. And have a Rosen Sentry. Nothing escapes my watch. I've got your back. Yeah, if, okay, yeah, if you're talking about the end pawn, if you're talking about, like, the end uh, screen and it said 22 on commons, that doesn't mean 22 common wild cards. That means you got 22 total commons. Safeguard our citizens. Boo. They're out there. I'll spot them. All right, so basically we're gonna, gonna do some blocks to give them like one toughness each, like kind of like across the border, like, the you know, like blocks so they have like one toughness left, at least two things, and then uh, we can red card I'll Twisted Fate to put them down. No one goes we can go like block, block, block. Touches. That was already like my plan, how I had the Warships at one toughness, but the Bannerman messed it up. You've been warned. I'm always up for a round or two. Something for all of you. Eyes bigger. I fight for the fallen. That card's difficult to deal with. This would be a good winter. Looks like trouble. play against Quinn Misfortune Scouts with Sejuani Ash. You don't want to be doing much defense at all. That kind of matchup's all about, um, yeah, like, basically you just don't want to be blocking, really. Like, it's all about Challenger. It's about, the, it's about like, the two drops, um, you know, like, Legion Drummer and the Challengers, and then, like, these tricks, Brittle Steel, Elixir of Iron, are really important. And you just, you make their blocks basically impossible and uh you know win in combat with you attacking it's all about your attacks like the the bigger things aren't important those are the things that are important oh come on Cythria now how am i dealing with this radiant guardian Flooding gets golden glory here are the tides why do we keep getting this one I don't like that one. Alright, so Jaw Hunters does three damage to Radiant Guardian. So then we can start brittle stealing it. No, we won't even be able to brittle steal it, because then they'll attack it and then it'll be four. So we gotta go here. And worry try to have Terra the Tides trade with that. Yeah, 12 hour stream today.
We're 0-2, but we played two really, really good close games. Haven't ended up going our way. Not necessarily the time for the, the one mana tricks. This will be a good winter. We're gonna make something really big. We've cast a lot of spells. Whatever our next ally is that we draw, it's gonna be big. Oh, come on, another one of those? Yeah, this was not a very good turn for us. You're welcome, Harine. Cool. Coming in from Japan. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it says, thanks for making all the YouTube videos, because it's hard to catch the stream from Japan. Yeah, I can definitely see that, especially the, the time that I usually stream. So I'm kind of planning on doing some early streams sometimes. And I was going to be doing an early stream today, but uh, then we hit enough sub goals for a 12 hour stream, so that's what we're doing that now. Man, our Twisted Fate's going to be a 7 7. This Twisted Fate's so close to leveling up, though, but I guess maybe we're supposed to chump block with this one. All right, so we got three of these. So we're going to Brittle Steel this Grizzled Ranger. That's step number one. Cancel out both attacks. A symbol worth fighting for. Gross. Gross. Oh man, that's so rough. Because now, now the Terror of the Tides doesn't trade with the Radiant Guardian. And that's definitely what I needed. Man, that Bannerman was really rough. So am I just dead? These have to, like, block there, there. No, I'm not quite dead yet. Hey, Maverick! Thanks for the raid! Welcome, everybody, from G'day, Maverick. Maverick, hi! What's up? It's going great! We are playing, um... So, you know, we're doing a 12-hour stream today. We're playing 10 different decks. You can see the schedule over here on the left. Our Starlit Fate deck... I really like this deck. This is a good deck. We've, um... We've played it three times previously, and we were 4-1 each time with it. But today we're 0-2, and, and it looks like 0-3. We've played really, really close games. They just haven't gone our way. Our first one, my opponent's last card against the Demacia deck, their last card was the third Garen that gave him a judgment that let him win. And, uh, you know, we had a bunch of cards. Like, I thought that we were going to be winning. The second game, we had a ton of cards, but we had a Bilgewater Mirror but our pilfered goods and stuff took like all their suit ups and theirs kept taking my black market merchants and they ended up barely squeaking it out, getting me down to one on attacks and having a warning, having a warning shot, like getting me down to one on elusive attacks and having a warning shot to kill me right before I killed them. So it's, So 
So we've been playing close games, but they just haven't been going our way. All right, so this card in hand is a 7-7 seven, seven Twisted Fate. So it does make me want to block with this Twisted Fate instead of the Starlet's here. I mean, I guess I'll just Brittle Steal this thing, so it doesn't matter. This would be a good winter. Oh, wait, why did I Elixir of this? Oh, I forgot that was getting... Oh, I was just talking and I forgot that I got the pump, so that was just a waste of an Elixir. Oh, well. <laughs> Oh yeah, there is no black market merchant in this deck list. So never mind, they just had a whole bunch of black market merchants. What were they stealing from us then? I don't remember. Yeah, you're right, there's no black market in this deck list. Thank you. So yeah, that was an incorrect statement by me. <laughs> um I couldn't Yeah, like I like I could only I could only um block the fearsomes with those two, so I had to have the two power to block there, like the Fearsome's had to block them. No. This game was just kind of, this game was kind of messy. In the game, all we were drawing were Brittle Steel's Elixir of Irons. Like, those two cards are awesome. They're really good tricks, but if, if your whole hand, like we had a hand of five Brittle Steel's and Elixir of Irons a little bit ago, and that just doesn't match up against these big Demacia threats, unfortunately. So, of course, I was, um, I'm just, I'm very desperate. Never lost a fair At this point, like, this, this game's over. <laughs> Jettison? Oh, at least give me something that does something. Stay resolute. Like a parlay to kill the Cythria. You will be scoured from this land. Today is not starting off well either. It's been like a week since I've won a game. <laughs> At least that's what it feels like. Okay, let's get rid of this. I don't know, maybe we need to keep that Rex. Maybe we should keep Riptide Rex. No, we'll, we'll get rid of it. I'll keep the rest of these. Coral Creatures is cool. Alright, well, it looks like our shark comes right back. One point of damage. It begins. The order rewards its faithful. Beyond. No, 
Scarlet Seer. We'll never forget you. Get new Scarlet Seer. Just passed, huh? Quickly. You cannot escape. Hmm. All right, fair enough. So we're gonna have static shock kill this now. Fair enough, fair enough. That was good. Brittle steals. Maybe my worst card in this matchup. So that was really good. We've drawn a whole lot of bilge water cards. So you can see our whole hand is bilge water, which is is not. Good for my Yordle Grifter. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Still take the two for one. And the extra mana. Jury rig? It is jury rig. So even though it would have been better to play the parlay first, I can't really play the parlay first because, you know, I want the parlay to kill one of these, but we don't know which one it would have killed. You know, I can't really, like, parlay one and then the Make It Rain doesn't target that thing. Then that one would not have been good. So six mana. Let's start with Coral Creatures. No, not Jettison. The worst card. Awesome. Alright, worst card to one of the best cards. Good. No. Bilgewater has so much card draw. There's so much card draw everywhere here. It just will Ezreal combo kill us or not. Of bomb. I can't stop that with an elixir of iron. Vessel 
little small, but she ain't lacking courage. All right, it is Riptide Rex turn, round eight. Clean up this board. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this over here. That's. I think that's a little off. It's a little off. So this will put him down to ten. That's a good jury rig. A blocker for the 7-4. I mean I can I can challenge it. I fight with my spirit. It's the Eye of the Dragon. I guess I challenge those and hit him for seven. I'll put him down to three. Going harvesting. Better than eat. There's a weird bug in the collection when it says cards are in your deck when they aren't. The world's a big place. Don't know if I know that one. All right, help me out, Powder Monkey. Ezreal's pretty rude. Hmm. Looks like we're playing a one mana spell and then two four mana spells. So they were going to Mystic Shot the Riptide Rex, and I was going to be denying it anyway. Just want to... Okay, they're going to deny that. I want want to try to keep them from leveling up Ezreal. I hope they don't have a, this being like card draw that gets them a lot more cards. They can play a lot of spells and kill me. It's going to put me down to four. Darn. Why can't you draw Eye of the Dragon? I don't want that card.
Yeah, we're looking pretty dead. I just took this eye of the dragon that would have been their draw. Just all of these games, we have like a million cards and our opponent kills us. Except for like the, the game three, we didn't. But the other the other three, we have like a million cards, but our opponents just eke out wins. That was pretty perfect. Double Will of Ionia. I mean, because they had, you know, like they had the deny for my deny, and then to level up the Ezreal, and then card draw hit and double Will of Ionia. I don't know, man. I just have no luck whatsoever. Yeah, this is like four days in a row of, of no luck. Certainly possible I shouldn't keep Averroes in Hearthguard. I feel like we haven't we haven't really played Hearthguard though. And I kinda wanna play Hearthguard. We haven't played it this whole time. We're curving out anyway, so it's all good. Let me turn on plunder. I long for a worthy opponent. I never hold back. Try me. Sithria. <laughs> We're just getting the the worst cards. Like, I had the dragon last time. Sithria this time. Yeah, yeah, Literally the worst cards. Hmm. No. Not feeling so blessed by snow and stars. Starlight's here. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Alright, I, I take that back. Thank you, Starlight's here. Getting me the exact card I wanted to draw. I take that back. See, these tricks, these one mana tricks can really have a big impact at certain times. You just can't draw, like, all of them at one time. This would be quick. Protect house floor. Strike. 
strength and grace, beauty in the blade. So we're three turns away from Riptide Rex. Ooh, taking it all. It's getting kind of risky against the Plunder deck. This Fiora hasn't killed any enemies yet. That was the other Fiora, so it's still zero out of two. Cancelled out. Our elixir of iron. I don't know. Do I even play you? Probably not. We'll save the spell mana. See? Spell mana. No, pilfer goods. Come back. for goods come back oh they just passed nothing escapes my watch yeah i feel like i should just pass back kind of feel like i shouldn't play that century okay cool they just passed also they just passed again good we have not drawn sedjuani in any game. I would cut you down. Kinda forgot that card's in our deck. Everything I've worked for. So we just Riptide wrecks it up. I suppose so. This will be a good winter. There'll be blood in the water. Looks like we only have two going to the 5-5, five five, so I don't, I don't think the 5-5 five five would die. But... Alright. There we go. We can we can win. Alright, we can win. <laughs> we don't move up at all if we win. But we can win. So there we go. That was Starlit Fate. Um, didn't didn't really treat us super well, but I don't know if it was really like the deck's fault. Like we we just had a like <clears throat> we had a lot of close games, and they just didn't go our way. There was there was one game that wasn't close. That was uh, a game where my opponent had a, a whole bunch of Cythrias and uh, radiant you know a bunch of Radiant Guardians, Cythria, Garen, that kind of stuff, and I drew five of my six Brittle Steep. Brittle Steels and Elixir of Irons. Um, and we we're just sitting with, you know, all of those and, you know, couldn't really compete. But besides that, the other three games were all games, the other three losses were all ones that I thought that we were winning for almost, for most of the game. I thought that we were going to be winning. And we just, you know, my opponent just had the cards that made us lot lose. Like, you know, two of them, we had a whole bunch of stuff and they were down to their one last card and they needed, you know, like, one specific thing to win, and they did, kind of thing. Um, no, we didn't lose rank for winning. We just didn't go up. We went from 251 to 251. <laughs> uh, will you release a video for all these decks? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm putting these... Yep, all 10 will be up on YouTube today. 
And starting with this one. All five of those games, including all the, the cards that we drew with Salvage and everything, we never actually drew a Sejuani. So that's probably not a good sign when you don't draw one of your champions. You know, we, ha we were drawing like 20 cards a game in five games. So yeah, we probably saw around 100 cards and saw zero Sejuanis out of them. Um... But yeah, we're going to be playing a whole bunch of uh, other uh, Twisted Fate decks today. Also, as you see, we're playing Twisted Ezreal, we're playing Twisted Fizz. Um, so we got some other uh, Twisted Fate decks because the Twisted Fate decks are really good. But there's Starlet Fate. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments. Feel free to uh, wallow in my bad beats with me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got nine more to go, so let's get on it. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you for the next one.